I'm sorry, but this is ridiculous. This really is the dream. So today's mini adventure starts with a walk in sunny, or at least trying to be sunny, Cheshire. Now if there's one thing I try and make sure I do every day to ensure I have a good day, it's go for a walk. Now that's not to say that every day I go for a walk is a good day, but any day I don't go for a walk is more than likely going to be a bad day, so I try and walk as much as I can. Going for a walk is a bit like a cheat code for mental health. Whenever I go for a walk, my mental health always feels vastly improved, and I'm not trying to say that going for a walk is the only thing you need to have good mental health, but I've rarely gone on a walk and it not improved my mindset in any way, shape or form. So for me personally, Walking's invaluable. Oh, I should have brought my sunglasses out the car. It's bright. Anyway, you get it. I preach enough. I like walking. I just wanted to share this walk with you at the start of this video. I used to be a lot better at skimming stones than that. I realise we're probably a decent chunk of the way into this video and I've not even done an introduction yet for any of the new viewers here so apologies for that but my name's John and this channel is John's Journey and today as always I am journeying in my micro camper Betty. She's a Citroen Berlingo and I go and do stealth camps in her. If you go back and look at any of the other videos on this channel that's what I've done so far and that's what I plan on doing today. I'm in Cheshire at the moment because we came here to visit my wife's family yesterday but now I'm here by myself and I'm thinking I want to move on because I've explored this area a fair bit over the last few days so time to try somewhere new out. I've just been sat here looking at my phone for a little while trying to figure out where I'm going to go today and nothing was really jumping out at me but then I was struck with a bit of inspiration. What if I was to travel to a different country? What if I was to go abroad? So I've decided I'm going to Wales. And no, I don't think that going to Wales is going abroad. I was just trying to be funny. I'm clearly, I'm clearly not very good at it. I feel silly admitting this, but I've only just realised how close Cheshire is to Wales. So I had a little look on Park for Night, and someone has described a camping spot about an hour and a half way as the dream. Can you see that review there? It says, this is the dream. So I have to go check out a camping spot, which is described as the dream. All right, guys, don't mind me, just walking through. You following me? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> the main thing I need to figure out now is how I'm going to get you guys to Wales. I mean, I could always do a whip pan like this, but I am sort of concerned that it won't be cinematic enough. Although, it's quick and if you've ever watched anything I've done on any of my previous channels, you'll know that this is my favourite transition. The alternative, though, is to do a cinematic time-lapse sequence, which has been one of my favorite things to do on this channel. I don't know. Maybe we should just go with the cinematic sequence. Because if I do a whip pan, there's always a chance I'll make someone motion sick. have a lot less vowels in them all of a sudden. Having said that, I would love it if I knew Welsh. Stupid pheasant. Just move out the road. Like, just, just move. You don't have to run along the road, mate. Oh, come on now, you're taking the piss. Fly, fly, you are taking the piss. There we go. Now that is a quarter and a half, my God. 
Wow, right. run across the road. Really? Really? Oh, okay. Oh, we're off-roading now. We are off. Okay, wow. Okay, wow. <laughs> no way! No freaking way! I'm sorry, but this is ridiculous. This really is the dream. This is the best camping spot that I have ever found, which I didn't have to pay for. Oh, I'm speechless. You're gonna have to forgive the fact that there was no shopping sequence in today's video, but I brought everything from home. I'm using leftovers again. So you're just gonna have to imagine my hand in a supermarket grabbing things, and it would probably be crappy phone footage or GoPro footage. But just like last time I used leftovers, I got wraps, but I'm not gonna do fajitas tonight. Although it's not gonna be that different from fajitas. It's quite a simple dinner for me this evening. I am going to be making quesadillas, or probably quesadilla, because I'm not actually that hungry. I cannot get over this view. I'm annoyed with myself because I've forgotten nearly everything I meant to bring with me for this meal. I was meant to have chorizo, I was meant to have jalapenos. Those are the two things, but you know, it's a big chunk of what should have gone in here. I'm annoyed. I can't really stay annoyed for too long though, can I? You know earlier when I said that I think walking is a bit of a cheat code for better mental health? I'd like to revise it a little bit and say that maybe it's just being outdoors. I mean, this is particularly special, but the reason I come out in this van so often and make these videos is because I just love being outdoors. I've been very, very, very lucky recently and that everywhere I've been, I've had it to myself. So it feels like your own little sort of slice of freedom. I don't know.
Still not over it. Still not over that. It's bloody gorgeous here, especially with a cup of tea. My routine when I get to these camps is fairly similar, as you may have noticed. I turn up, I cook my dinner, I set up the van for bed, and then I just sort of chill out and unwind and relax. But as the days are getting longer, I've got more of the evening to enjoy. So this evening I've decided to go for a little stroll, you know, in keeping with the theme of the video, I guess. You may hear me mention my wife, Charlie, even though she hasn't featured much on the channel. And some of you may already be aware of her because of her presence elsewhere on the internet. And now that I've just said that, I realize I have just made her sound like a porn star. What I mean by that is we've made videos together online in the past, not porn videos. The reason I bring her up is because she's not featured much on this channel, but I'm hoping in the summer that she can. She's just taken a new job. And the way that these videos work at the moment is one day a week at her new job, she has to work away from home and on the days when she works away from home is when I get to go out and film so trying to make the most of the fact that she's away and I'm really enjoying these videos I'm really enjoying making them and I'm really enjoying coming out and camping in these beautiful spots but in the summer part of what she negotiated with this new job was to have two months off because they had hunted her so she had a little bit of negotiation space so in August and September we're hoping to take Betty or another vehicle on the road so I'd be really keen if you guys have any suggestions for things you'd like to see me do us do I may also be doing a couple of two-day trips in the near future so if you have anything you'd like to see me do in the meantime let me know because obviously you guys have seen what Betty's capable of so where should I take her what should I do let me know I'm starting to sound like a real youtuber now smash that like button right my tea's done I can't stop myself from doing these shots where I pan up from my feet to the view and I'm starting to feel like an Instagrammer or something. A proper influencer, which I'm clearly not. Just getting back towards Betty, which is that dot there, and as you can see, there is absolutely nothing around her. Nothing at all. This might be my most secluded camp yet. Pretty much as secluded as we were in the moors that time when it snowed, but this time, I'm even further away from a road. decided to move Betty because when I went back to her after the walk I realized that she's very close to a track and even though I really don't think anyone's going to join us here or there's going to be any farmers that need to get down there at this particular time I am not taking any risks I do not want to get in the way don't be a dick that's the rule so got to stick to it So I'm actually treating myself to a bit of luxury this evening. You see, I've got my regular sleeping bag here, but I've also gone and brought a double duvet, which, okay, yes, this is OTT for car camping, but look how thick that is. It's not very thick. I'm actually quite used to sleeping on it, but recently I'm an old man. I've hurt my shoulder and it doesn't seem to be getting better. So I'm, I'm, I'm using this. I don't care what you think. Keep your judgment to yourself. Or you can put it in the comments. Do you know what? It all helps the algorithm. Do what you're gonna do. So the idea is that I'm gonna sleep on it like it's a duvet. That's what I'm thinking. And so there is our setup for this evening. And it looks pretty cozy if I don't say so myself. I can already tell that this is gonna be so much comfier tonight. Right, I'm just gonna crack on with a bit of reading, so I think this is where I will say good night and see you in the morning. Morning. Tell you what, the duvet worked an absolute treat as a mattress. I slept so well. You know, one of my favorite moments when I'm car camping or stealth camping is first thing in the morning, the first time I peel back a blind to reveal 
the view outside the window. I, I don't know why. It doesn't even really matter what the view is. I just love that moment. But this, this is pretty spectacular. Just a couple of sheep meandering around Betty. <laughs> Whenever I come to Wales, it always blows me away with how pretty it is. And I'm in North Wales at the moment, and yeah, pretty as ever. Definitely need that sun to rise a little quicker though, because it is cold this morning. I had the realisation recently that I hadn't had cereal for breakfast in a long time. So yesterday, I bought myself some Frosties because I'm a grown-ass man, no one can stop me. Except my dentist, maybe. I have just had an absolute disaster. I was cleaning up around the van and I'd already filled my AeroPress full of coffee and, uh, well, I'll show you. Gonna knocked it over, haven't I? Oh, that's so annoying, because that was my only bit of fresh coffee, so instant coffee it is. Uh, instant coffee's all right. That's coffee with a view. And there we go, yet another successful stealth camp. Where shall I go next? Let me know in the comments section down below. And thank you very much for watching and enjoying this video so far. And if there's one thing to take away from it, it's try go outside today. I promise you, you'll feel better for doing it. Right, better get moving. Another thing to take away from this video is, don't be a dick.